Hello guys, what's up? In this video I am going to teach you how to implement a project using Node-RED and using the Internet of Things. So let's start. Well guys, in this project we are going to detect if a water pump works appropriately or not. And in, or in order to detect if the water pump works appropriately we are going to use a vibration transmitter and the vibration transmitter is going to detect the vibration in the water pump and it works according to these values well the vibration is measured in inches per second or millimeters per second but in this time we are going to use inches per second and for example if the actual vibration is zero the transmitter is going to oh, sorry the transmission the transmitter the transmitter is going to send us uh, an output of four milliamps if the, if the vibration is 0 0.1 it's going to send you eight milliamps 0 0.2 the output is going to be 12 milliamps if it is 0 0.4 the output of that transmitter it's gonna be 20 milliamps well if the vibration is 0 inches per second that means that the pan works well if it is 0 0.1 it's still working well 0 0.2 it is still it is still working well it's still working well if it is 0 0.3 that means that the pump isn't working well and if the vibration is 0 0.4 that means that we need to change the pump immediately well, as I said, the transmitter is going to detect the vibration here and it's going to send us an output from 4 to 20 milliamps. This is here, the output. Well, this signal, the output signal, it's going to be an analog signal. And the Raspberry Pi in this case or if you are going to use no red in your Raspberry Pi or if you are going to use no red in a computer you know that the Raspberry Pi or the computer cannot read analog analog values Wait. Yeah. here is analog and we have to transform that signal into a digital signal but after that we have to transform these 4 to 20 milliamps into a volt into a into volts because our Arduino in this case doesn't read current signal it reads bold signal and we are going to transform you adding uh, 250 resistor at the output of the vibration transmitter and we are going to have this equation Point zero zero or this is going to be well this is going to be assistance on slow guys the current it's going to be equal to voltage so don't forget that this is milliamps and the unit it's ohms and if we have here the 20 milliamps output it 
this is zero we are going to uh, we are going to have five volts so adding a resistor of 250 ohms we are going to have a voltage signal and our Arduino can read that voltage signal and in this case we are going to use the IDC of the Arduino that has 10 bits resolution but don't worry guys if you don't, do not understand this information because in further videos I am going to explain you deeply how every component works how every device every component so this is just a brief description of the system of the internet of things so here we are going to have an analog signal from 1 to 5 volts and using our microcontroller 80 mega 328 that runs a firmware we are going to pass the analog signal into a digital signal and once we have a digital digital signal here we can pass that signal via serial to our raspberry pi or to our computers and the computer and the microcomputers run no red no red program and if you saw my last videos you know that with no red we can send information to the cloud and see that information in real time from what any device that is connected to the internet and we are going to follow this flowchart for programming for implementing the program in no red well first of all we are going to read the sensor data that it comes from here after that we are going to make the equivalence the equivalence that it's going to be from 0 to 0 0.4 in inches per second to 5 volts so equivalence from here this equivalence and after that we are going to program if the signal is higher than 0 0.3 you see here 0 0.3 inches per second we are going to print change pump and if, that's, if the signal is lower than 0 0.3 then we are going to pass directly to the end so well guys in conclusion the, this system of internet of things starts with our sensor in this part after that it's going to pass to local processing and local storage that it's going it's going to consist in our Arduino and, uh, and our Raspberry Pi and after that we are going to send information using the network using sending to the internet and once we have in the information in the internet we are going to store to send that information and store store it in a server we are going to use the WebSocket protocol I'm going to explain you in another video how it works and what it is and in my last video I taught you how the fret node works that connects the information in a server and 
in our microcomputer and once we have the information on the cloud we can check it in any device that is connected to the internet well guys if I think you have a lot of questions you can write down in the comments and I am going to answer just your questions as soon as possible and please subscribe and wait for my next videos that I am going to be implementing physically this project well bye guys